Okay, good day again. I'm just uh, maneuvering things around and uh, yeah, I'll put the bike over against the wall as close as I can. Make room, I got all the plastics off now. Um, got this pile here is all the stuff that had to be painted. Quite a lot of stuff actually. There's a, so more than more than you think at first, but yeah, a lot of painted parts. So you see, it's broken. It's broken off. So yeah, we've got to fix that back on there somewhere. And, uh, yeah, probably a plastic world with a steel bracket, and some rivets or something. But yeah, this is all the other. What's left? Headlight, tail light, and uh, the other plastics, which will going to get rid of the grey. I'll be painting their map black, just cheaping them on. Anyway, uh, yeah, I wasn't going to make a video today, but it's just they're yeah, turning it around, and I'm just amazed at how much lighter it is without all these plastics on it. You don't think plastic weighs that much, but yeah, when the the amount of it you take off, I suppose there's a couple of steel racks and alloy pieces, but yeah, it all adds up, and uh, the weight difference in this, so I suppose, I suppose a lot of it too is top weight. Like I may not have lightened it as much as it feels but I've taken all the stuff that's off the top that makes it feel heavy when you you're standing it up and pushing it around so but uh yeah and then I was sitting back there looking at it and uh, not going to do this because well for one you know I've spent so much time effort Everything making these fairings that, yeah, I'm not going to change it now. But, uh, yeah, you could make like a rat bike or a naked bike out of this. And you could make it so much lighter. Yeah, but there's still an incredible amount of weighty stuff that could be removed from this. Like for one... Yeah, if you're just going to put a single seat, stand a mud guard, yeah. you can basically, yep, yeah, you can basically chop the frame here. You can chop it here, you can take up that whole rear section, go on, not needed. Yeah, just run a single mud guard with the tail light fixed to the mud guard. Um, yeah, down here. This is a foot peg mount, but yeah, I've already put forward mounted pegs, so you could actually remove the mount, remove this whole big piece of alloy. Yeah. There's even another piece, this is it's probably the same piece here. Yeah. You know, there's a whole big lot of weight that can come off. Yeah, and there's another steel. Is that steel? No, it's plastic, but. Even so, still weight, all adds up. Yeah. 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 Even, even, the, even the bracket that I've made for the foot peg. You know, I've just built it like these are bars that were already here. The, this bit and this bit were already on there. And they went up to that plastic protector thing that didn't really do much anyway. But, you know, like, moving the pipes. I mean, there's probably a reason for that length of pipe swinging around like that. But, you know, you could run your pipes just straight down. Straight down, under, out. Much lighter, you know, exhaust or tailpipe muffler. Just, you know, run a lightweight clamp on muffler. Yeah, there, there's a whole lot of weight saving just there, and if they were just running straight down, so you've got a mount in here. 
don't know what was on that. It was probably went to that other protector piece that was on the farm, but yeah. And then you could run your foot peg straight off that one mount. Yeah, there's a whole lot less bar that you need. Yeah. Your gear shift's already on linkage. Yeah. So there's actually a fair bit of room under there. You could run that linkage out to here. And just have forward mounter pegs, not have the the rear ones. Yeah. Yeah. Like even the well, the airbox probably doesn't weigh much. It's plastic, but you know, I've had lift lift lid off that too. You could you could modify that, make it smaller, lower. Yeah, the bulk of the fuel tanks down here. You could cut the top off it, bring that down lower. And said single seat, take all that shit off the back. This would be your main issue. This, I would think, is your um, your main computer. Um, you know, must be must be a fuel injection model. I think to have a computer running system. This one over here looks to be the ABS, and yeah, for us older guys. Yeah. We've been riding for who knows how long, you know. I've never had a bike before with ABS, nor have I ever felt a need for any of it. So, yeah, you could take all that off as well. Just run your, yeah. run your calipers normally. You could probably... Uh, You could probably run your calipers without the ABS, and um, they'd probably work just fine. And if not, you could do different calipers. Um, yeah, same on this side. This foot peg mount, yeah. the pipes come straight down and around. I could run it straight off that other mount there. Get rid of all this excess that I put on there. Get rid of all that. Yeah. There's a whole lot of weight saving again, remove the alloy, you know, put a lot of pipe on it. So you would still have to make some sort of a cover to hide this this messy shit, you know, come down over your radiator. And, uh, well, like this said, if you were going to, you know, Lower any of this thing, you'd be making a new cover for the t for it anyway, so you could make all that in one piece. Yeah, and again, don't really need a fuel gauge. Yeah, you do need a temperature gauge, but you could run a just a separate gauge. Even the lights, <laughs> yeah, you could run a separate light panel across here. For your warning lights, I mean, obviously, if you're taking the ABS off, you don't need any of them. You, yeah, all you need is your neutral, your high beam, yeah, and your indicators. So you could run a little light panel here, you put some separate pots up top. Yeah, you can buy all that stuff cheap anyway. And there's a, a mega amount of weight you could take off this. Yeah, whether it would make that much in difference in like acceleration and stuff like this it's got plenty of go but it'll do a good speed but it's not it doesn't like accelerate hard like a sports bike so whether the weight saving would actually make enough difference to to give it a bit of excitement I don't know it'd, it'd have to change the handling of it yeah because there's so much top Top heavy weight. But yeah, if nothing else, you could change the look of it completely. So, and, uh, yeah, make something that actually looks quite interesting. Anyway, 
I said, I'm only sort of dreaming away here. It's, this is not going to happen. I'm not going to go doing that after the amount of effort that I put into making those fairings. And, uh, and yeah, as I said, I don't have money to buy new pot speedos and things and headlights anyway. Or pipes. But, uh, yeah. Just, uh, just wanted to share something I was thinking you could make something real interesting out of this. Uh, anyway, just another ramble about nothing in particular. So, <laughs> yeah. Thanks for watching. Bye.